Which way should we go? To the train depot? Or to the park? Or maybe we'll do both and make one long trek out of it. You never know. How's it going everybody? The Genuine Fur here. I hope you all are having a wonderful 4th of July weekend. And today I thought we'd do a little something a little special. Since it's such a beautiful day out, the weather's so nice, I thought we'd take a nice trek along the Murphy River Walk. Right now we're about at the halfway point of the Murphy River Walk. And I thought we'd uh, start by heading down to the train depot. A little less than a mile down that direction. And then uh, make our way back. Back through this point here. And head down to Conahita Park. See what's going on down there. It's so beautiful the way these trees make a canopy over this trail. Especially on days like today where the sun's beating down on you. This shade really helps uh, control the temperature. Beautiful day to be out here. Please do not feed Sasquatch. Well, hopefully we won't run into him at all, but you never know what you might find out here. The scenery is so beautiful through here. It really is. One of the many beautiful wonders of Murphy, North Carolina. Even one of the many birdhouses they have here. How about that? They have plenty of places to sit and relax along the trail as well. Such a nice day to be out here. It really is. Well, that's interesting. You usually see sewer access holes, you know, along streets. It's the first time I've seen one in the water. Pretty nifty though. And speaking of water, there's some people out there having some fun, relaxing in it. Got some canoes and kayaks out there. Wonderful day to be out there. It is so peaceful out here, guys. I really love it. And along your journey, you'll find many of these placards that explain some of the Cherokee Indian heritage and also some of the legends. The Great Leech of, I'm sorry, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that name. We'll just stick with the Leech place, there you go. Well, that's a cool looking rock. Check that out, guys. Wow. Even in the middle of summer, there's plenty of shade to go around. Down at the bottom of this hill here is the old train bridge. Now there's no active trains on this line anymore and I don't think there has been in quite some time, at least since I've lived here. But uh, I'm glad they've still kept it up for people to admire. It's definitely a hot, muggy day today. I'm sure glad there's plenty of shade out here. Whew. Sweating bullets out here, guys. But it's a good workout. I wonder how long it has been since the train has run along these tracks. Definitely looks like it hasn't seen some action in quite a while. And there's the bridge. They've got it all fenced out, you know, probably for good reason. Probably uh, 
probably considered private property and just for safety overall. They don't want anybody getting hurt out there. But there it is. Should we head straight to the depot or take Confluence Loop? I don't know, how adventurous are you guys feeling today? Take the loop, you say? <laughs> All right, you guys asked for it. Watch your head, everybody. Low bridge. Here's another angle of that bridge we were just at, guys. That is awesome. That is really cool. It is absolutely gorgeous out here, guys. If you've never had the opportunity to walk the Murphy River Walk before, I highly suggest you do it. Absolutely breathtaking. There's another one of those manholes that stick above the ground, you guys. Until I moved here, I had never seen that before. I'd only see them, seen them on the streets or sidewalks. Very cool. There's some more folks having a good time out there. Out on the party barge. Having a good old time. Lots of uneven spots on the trail here, so you definitely have to watch your step. I thought I'd come out to this little observation platform out here, try to get a better view of everything. But as I walked, walked further out, it was definitely creaking more than my liking. So I think I'll go back to the trail. Well, that rock has quite a nose on it. <laughs> okay, I don't care who you are, that's funny. I love finding little things like this, little features in the rocks and everything. All right, here's another crossroads, you guys. Now we just finished Confluence Loop, which is down that direction, and up towards that tr up towards that direction is where we started, where the car is. And if we head this, and if we head towards the right, we'll come up on the train depot. It's neat how you can hear the wakes from the boats down there in the water, slapping up against the bank. Here's another loop you can take, you guys. But uh, I think I'm gonna pass today. I don't have my water shoes or a boat. Looks a little wet down there. Maybe next time. This area must be very heavily populated with Bigfoots. Hope we don't run into any. I'd say maybe give them some jacklings, but that sign that we saw earlier said don't feed them, so I don't know. Wow, this track definitely hasn't seen use in a very long time. It's amazing how many weeds have grown up in between the railroad ties and everything. Wow. And just down this path here, we'll come up to the old train depot. Now, since it hasn't been active in a long time, They've kind of, over the years, they've renovated it into more like a celebration hall. It can be rented out by different people for different celebrations, different events, which is pretty cool. Now that's definitely a first for me. A birdhouse with a covered porch. 
or screened in porch, I guess would be the proper terminology. Here's what I was talking about earlier. They took the old train depot, kind of renovated it a little bit and turned it into a nice little banquet hall. Got some outdoor lights stringed up there. Did some nice landscaping. Really turned out nice. Okay, that was pretty funny. I met a couple back there walking their two dogs. And that was the second that was the second time I've run into them. And each time one of their dogs just started barking and going crazy like it was being real uh real protective. But they said when I met them the second time, they said that her tail was just wagging like crazy the whole time she was barking. So I put my hand out to let her smell my hand and immediately stopped. Said, they said that was the craziest thing they've ever seen because she's the sweetest dog in the world. <laughs> you never know what animals are gonna do. That, is too, that was too funny. I had to share that story with you guys. There goes that pontoon boat again. And from the other direction now. Boats all over the place today. Celebrating this beautiful 4th of July weekend. There's another pretty shot of the bridge out there. We made it back to where we started from, guys. So let's keep on going and head towards Kanahita Park. So much to see through here. Nature in all its beauty. Be careful everybody. Best stay to the center of the trail. Lots of different loops you can take out here. Even has a fisherman's loop. That's pretty neat. Never been down that loop before, but maybe I'll go down there one day. You can definitely start feeling the sun beat down on you when you get to some of the spots that don't have nearly as much shade. A little toasty out here. You would think summer's upon us or something. We made it to Kanahita Park, you guys. Not too much action here today. I think most of the 4th of July celebrations were yesterday on Saturday. Now, the river walk does continue. If you head down this direction, it'll take you down near uh, where the high school is. But it's pretty hot out here. And uh, I'm just getting pretty... Uh, Getting a little worn out <laughs> from the early part of our trek here. So I think I'm gonna call it a day. But uh, if you guys would like me to explore a little bit more next time, just let me know. Well, that's gonna do it for today's video, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up below. And if you'd like to leave a comment and subscribe, I really do appreciate all the support you guys give. And be sure to stay tuned for my upcoming videos if you like this one. And until next time, have a good one, and I'll see you later.